So it was that in the year of our Lord 1527, I accompanied Cardinal Wolsey to an embassy in France, and on the way was blessed to spend a night at the Bishop of Rochester's modest palace. It was here in his humble home that my dear friend Bishop John Fisher and I spoke at length about our beloved church, about England and our love of the faith and truth. Little did I know that our fates lay together in the greatest attack upon the Church of Christ that England had ever known. By means of stealth and using our servants, Bishop John Fisher and I were able to exchange written notes. To test our line of communication, I sent Bishop Fisher two oranges, and he in return sent back half a custard. We then encouraged one another by written messages, and I explained to him the wording of the oath. The nearness of this holy bishop, who stood out alone amongst all of the princes of the church in England, brought me great comfort. <laughs>